Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com and make sure you sign up for my uh, subscription feed so that you're sure to get the latest posting tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool uh, chart in Excel. Uh, this is a pie chart and it is using just standard Excel pie charts. This is a, the Death Star uh, as depicted in an Excel pie chart. So no tricks here, no shapes drawn on top of each other, anything like that. Everything you see here is a ex standard Excel pie chart that depicts the, ex the uh, Star Wars Death Star. So let me show you how we go about making that. So if you head over here, you see I've just got two simple uh, uh, different series. We've got one for the small circle, which is uh, the laser death ray that comes out of the Death Star. And then you got the large circle, which represents the outside of the Death Star. I've kind of broken this up into two halves so that it draws that line down the center. Let me show you how we go about making that. First thing you want to do is you want to set up your data this way, and then highlight the data from A1 to A3. And you want to go up to your insert ribbon, and you want to go over to the pie chart button. From the pie chart, you just want to pick a standard pie chart. All right, so let's take a look at that. Uh, and so what you see here is we've actually got the uh, Excel pie chart. It's set up a small circle and a large circle, but it's not quite doing the way we want our data to show. So what we need to do is first we need to go up to our design ribbon. Then on our design ribbon, there is this switch row and column buttons. So we first want to do that. Now you'll notice that Excel has switched our series into the small circle showing up on the front. Uh, and the large circle is behind this, and we'll take care of that here in a second. Unfortunately, I think there's a little bit of a bug here that Excel is showing the legend as series one and series two instead of small circle and large circle. I'll show you how to correct that as well. First thing we want to do is we want to select our small circle, which is here in blue, and right click on it. Then we've got this Format Data Series button. You can also press Control 1 and it'll bring up the Format Data Series dialog box. What we want to do is we want to move this series to the secondary axis. And then uh, let's go ahead and click on Close. So now we've got it on our secondary axis. If I go back to my design ribbon and I go back and switch the rows and columns, if I do that a couple times, look at that, it's actually switched my legend to look right now. It says large circle, small circle. So let's uh, once again select that small circle that you see in blue. I'm going to press Control 1 to bring up my format data series dialog box. I'm going to change the rotation to about, oh, and you can also just enter this number in here. I'm going to enter it to about 210. And I'm going to do my Pi explosion to about 300. And let's click on close and see what that looks like. Uh, so you can see we're back to two halves here, but if I find this series, look at that. It's really faint gray. You can see that laser uh, conical part of the Death Star uh, is showing up there, and uh, we're going to move that around here in a second. So um, let's actually uh, go ahead and right click on either one of the series. Let's go to Format Data Series, and I want to change my border color to a solid line. And I'm going to pick something like this uh, black. Uh, it's like 15% lighter text here. You'll see it says black text one lighter by 15%. Click on close. I'm going to do that on the large circle as well. Right click on it. Format data series. Border color. Solid line. My choice from before is already going to show up in my color and I can click on close. So now you can see the different parts highlighted in our chart. So we're getting pretty close. I'm going to right click on my large circle, click on Format Data Series, and I want to move this rotation to be 90 degrees, um, and let's see what that looks like. So now you can see it's actually moved it to look more like the Death Star with that line in the center, and we've got, uh, so I've got these two different halves. Um, now I want to just do a few different things. Let me go ahead and click on my legend and delete it. Uh, and then if you actually select this small circle, so you'll see I selected that small circle, select it again, select it a couple times, and then you can actually drag it and move it. Look at that, I've dragged and moved it just a little bit uh, so that it's in that area that I want it to be. 
Uh, so that's looking pretty good. We're we're pretty close to actually creating our final Death Star here. Just need to give it some hints and shadows, like a sun is uh, actually blasting it from this way so that it's creating different shadows. We're going to do that with a gradient fill. So what you want to do is right click on any one of your shapes, I'm sorry, any one of your pie chart slices, click on Format Data Series. You want to go up to the Fill options. We want to do a gradient fill. And then you want to choose, you can see this on my blog, uh, you want to set it up such that uh, some of these are radial, um, so it's blasting in for a certain way. Uh, so that's kind of close to what we want. You can see the sun sort of blasting in this way. I'm not sure that that's quite the right numbers that we wanted. We probably want something on our fill to be a gradient fill of around 75. Uh, and let's see what that looks like. So you can kind of see that's over here a little bit. And if you right click on your small circle, format data series, do a fill, solid fill, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, gradient fill, we're going to change this one to be about that 44%. Um, let's take a look and see what that looks like. So you can kind of see it's blasting in. You can continue to play with these gradient fills until you ultimately uh, get what you're looking for. Um, here's my final chart back here on the front home page. Uh, you can see I've got sort of uh, some different linear ones here. I've got this conical shape going in here as well. If I right click on it, you can find these exact ones that I've got on my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com. But uh, you can see that I've got three different stops in here in radial for the large pie slices. The small pie slice, we've got radial as well. Uh, and 44%. So you can just play with those. You can see how that shadow throws it in there. That conical inset one kind of gives it that 3D effect. There's the part where Luke Skywalker flies down the center of that to actually blow up the start, uh, the uh, Death Star. So once again, this is Steve Equals True, seeing how, showing you how you can make some really cool charts within Excel. These are just standard pie charts, and uh, you can do this with just a few simple steps. You can learn this and other techniques at excel-boardtemplates.com. Also, make sure and sign up for my YouTube channel uh, so that you get the latest post and video delivered right to your inbox. Thank you.